but in today's video i'll be showing you how you can download windows 23 h2 iso file and how you can install without any pen drive so by the way this video does work as any windows versions okay please stick around and uh, okay let's go ahead so prepare a uh, 8 gigabytes or above for windows installer partition and prepare 60 or above gigabytes for windows installation my video has a, a, a chap 10 10 straps or chapters so when you click in the description you will go to all the time chapters of my videos so you can navigate whatever you like to watch okay why am, am i going to install windows 23 h2 on my pc so uh, recently windows 23 h2 does uh, released to in the insider and i just wanted to try that so and um, i'm just wondering i've already show you how you can install from link down here so how you can upgrade from 21 h2 to uh, 23 h2 so you can see this video to check about that how i have did that so what is the requirements for windows 11 23 h2 so uh, the requirement is just to download windows uh, 23 h2 to your pc and the another requirement is to prepare uh, two partition one is for windows uh, installer partition and another windows uh, installation partition so okay so and another requirement is to download easy pcd from the link in the description so by the way you will get for both windows and easy bcd download from down link in the description which is will direct you uh, our my telegram channel so you can get both links for the downloads from my telegram channel let's go ahead so please download windows uh, from the link down in the description so by the way I'll, i'm showing you how you can download that and again please download easy bcd and install on your system okay let me clear up some things so i have uh, easy bcd on my windows 10 partition so when you see if you see windows 10 on my video don't get distracted so i just uh, don't want to reinstall easy bcd on my windows 11 so some of some portion of my videos will be in the windows 11 again some part uh, some partition will be on windows 10 so don't worry it works i'm sure so if it won't get works please let me know so i'll try to figure out why and we'll, we can discuss right click on start and you will be in disk management click on that so you will see my partitions which i have already created so i have created a bunch of partitions so that's why you, you just see the so right click on the partition you have sufficient space and click on shrink volume and uh, it will ask you the amount you want to shrink so i'm going to i must calculate so the amount required for me so 10 24 times uh, i need 8 gigabytes for example for a windows installer uh, full uh, partition so you must type uh, the result and click on shrink so I have I don't need to do that because I have created 90 so so it's fine to use so this is 83 gigabytes for Windows installer space so I have created two partitions so so let's go to uh, our browser and uh, we must download Windows 11 23h2 uh, so, so the link will be in the description so click on select edition you must be sure to select build 22631 release preview channel so click on confirm and uh, let's go to next step so we must select uh, uh, our language so i will select english united states so and click on confirm again and click on 64 bit download so when you click that your download must start so I will pause and cancel because I don't uh, I have already downloaded that so here is uh, my installer for Windows 23 h2 so right click on this and you will 
choose open with and then click windows explorer and you will be here so select all the files and the right click on that and the copy this and uh, uh, click on this pc and then navigate to a place you have created for windows installer so paste there and after you finished right click on this dvd drive so eject this and uh, go to easy bcd on your system so i will give you the easy bcd download link so uh, if i know this selected so it may not work so it will work uh, most probably it will work so click on add new entry and click on win pe here and uh, uh, this icon to uh, to open our file explorer so click on this pc and uh, scroll down and uh, select our drive so click on sources and uh, click on boot uh, we we file so click on open and uh, what we need to do is click on plus button here so this might take a while so this will allow us to create to add this uh, to our boot menu so let's wait as you can see now is nstmp is added to boot menu successfully so now we have successfully added to our boot menu so we can proceed the installation without any usb drive so let's restart our system And as you can see, NSTVMP is now available on our boot menu. So click select your drive. So the requirement is just to follow my steps and uh, to prepare uh, and select uh, angle, so all the defaults. I will keep this all default and click on install now. And our setup is starting. So click on I don't have a product key now and click on your edition you want to install so i will keep, I will keep it on windows 11 pro and next and click on i accept and next and uh, custom installation so let's select our drive 86 gigabytes for our windows installation i have created 83 gigabytes so let's click on next and uh, wait your uh, time so let's say i'm speeding up because i will save our time so so let's wait a while to complete so the requirement is to create two partitions one is for windows installer and another is for windows installation space so let's wait until all the process got finished so uh click on restart now because after 10 seconds it, by default it will restart by itself so okay, let's save our time so again we need to select uh, so now our windows should be appear on our boot menu so as you can see windows 11 on volume 11 is now available so let's select windows 11 on volume 11 so that is the last volume so i have already installed windows 11 so this is my checking part so if it's compatible with my pc i will jump right uh, for free on my without with all components to this os so that's why i'm just planning to check if it is compatible with my pc so now our windows configuration setup is now started so let's configure this so i'll keep it is default so let's uh, it will ask for a keyboard so we'll keep it uh, windows us and uh, we don't need additional so we will click on skip and uh, we must connect to the internet so let's let's connect to the internet so it will it will check for updates so this may take a while so it's important so to keep your update so name your pc so i will give uh, to i will name my pc I'll keep my name so to the PC and click on next here and uh, now uh, our machine will reboot and let's click our drive so okay if you are new here please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel so 
uh, route setup for personal use okay so let's just click on that and the next and, uh, again, uh, click on signing down here and uh, enter your email and password and uh, you will be signing to your, just to your account so uh, you can restore from other pcs but i will set up as new pc for this pc and uh, create a pin and uh, enter for the user and continue and uh, privacy settings for our device so I, I will keep it all default and that's it and I will skip I will customize this later so now it's I will skip it for now and uh, you, you, you you can scan and use your Android phone from your PC so I don't need that again for this and uh, I will decline this so this is my this is not my aim for you to show right now so you can we can configure it later so this, i will skip it for now so uh, now let's wait again it will check for updates yeah so we have done most of the, the, the things required so we will jump to our windows 20, 11 23 h2 desktop boom this is guys now our latest features are now available so there is uh, windows copilot which is on a preview and uh, file explorer which is the amazing part so let me show you my properties so um, i'm always back to work with uh, proof so 23 h2 is now installed so uh, let's see let me show you my windows uh, copilot the new release so copilot as you can see which is in preview now and uh, when you click on that so you can make a changes on your system as well as you can ask it is ai powered so you can do whatever you like so uh, let me show you how you can update your drive so go here to your settings and uh, scroll down again to the windows update and uh, click on check for update so when you check for update it will download the required drivers and updates required to our system so here i got all the downloads so after your all download is finished you must reboot your system so you can get all windows 11 23 h2 features like carved angles like that so as you can see this is straight now because it doesn't uh, i haven't installed any drivers so it's, it's new so that's why I hope you found this video useful please consider to subscribe to our youtube channel until next time have a nice time guys bye i hope you found this video useful if you found this video useful please consider to subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, until next time see you guys bye